cool. Well, well it's frustrating, frustrating that if it glares that bad. On my side? No, I'm, I'm trying, trying to use a black counter, counter on my phone. Oh, oh it's, it's just a blue background. background. I can easily read your phone. Could, Could you, you read, read it with the blue? blue? Um, let me see. No. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah. I was I'm like, like, well, you want, want to make sure, sure that it's all above board, board and everything, everything, you know? No, I can, I can read it now. Um, I'll have my duelists over here. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Going, going old school, school with it. it. Man, I've been using that black one for 20 years. Gosh, Gosh, I, I got, got, got into, into magic, magic when I first saw it. Um, a, I don't think my parents would have been cool with it. B, I was a kid getting into Pokemon for the first time, the first time I ever saw, like, acts of magic cards. And I was like, something about this just looks so cool to me. But it was back when Wizards still put, like, the like Demons beginner, like, no, like, the beginner, like, intermediate advanced labels on stuff, you know? Uh-huh. And so the advanced label on magic cards spooked me. Got it. Those were the valuable ones. Oh, well, actually, you probably could have gotten some good um, Portal Three Kingdoms or something. Probably. <clears throat> um, Here, I have an interesting one. I haven't used this on camera, I don't think. So this is a monocrypt dice. Okay. Do you want to call uh, damage or no damage? And I'll roll it. Uh, let's see. Normally, heads is no damage. I always call heads, so I will call no damage. All right. No damage. Oh, did it? Yeah, it's hard to see, yeah. but that's no damage. Yeah, no, I saw the damage uh, indicators, so they were a nice, like, orange or something. Well, you get the, so, um, the thing, um, and when I cut, I usually just do the middle one on top. Okay, that's fine with me. If that's... you, How do you want... It? What was the top to go in the middle or at the so, bottom? So, so, so if you do if you do the cut three piles and uh -huh. you put the middle one on top, you shouldn't know the top or bottom card. Right. Okay. Yeah. I think I did that the same way you did it. Okay. I'm down with it. Whatever you want to do. Also. Um. Ooh, I forgot my coins. Seven cards. I am playing first, by the way. That is fine. Uh, I will keep. He says uncertainly. Yeah. Um. I'll also very awkwardly keep. All right. Ready? Yes. Let's start on Urza Saga and pass the turn. All right. Um, I will go Cavernous Souls on Goblin. Sure. And play a Lackey. Sure. I will pass. Draw. This goes to two. <sighs> Um, I'll play an Ancient Tomb. Okay. And... Pass the turn. It looks like a blocker, man. I don't want Eight. a blocker. Because Lackey has to connect, right? That is correct. Combat damage to a player. Alright. I'll play a second Cavern of Souls on Goblin. Sure. And I will play a Goblin Recruiter. Remind me what Recruiter does? I get to search my deck for any number of Goblins and put them... So I search my deck for any number of Goblins. I then show them to okay. you. Okay. After I show them to you, then I put them on top in any order I want. So you will not know the order they are in. Okay. All right. So resolves? Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, I can't exactly counter it, so... No, I mean, um... Some kind of exile all spells? What is that card called? Um, uh, mind Break Trap. Mind Break Trap is something... I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'd like to ask you <laughs> if I may continue, you know? And cut the deck. Um, <clears throat> all right, so again, you won't know the order, but let's see if I get these in order so I don't have to say too. All right, Kiki Jiki. And again, um, if you don't know any of these, I'll bring them up to the camera. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Goblin Wizard. I don't know that one. Um, yeah, that's a left handed magic, magic card, card one, isn't it? <laughs> you may uh, tap it to put a goblin from your hand into play. Okay. okay. Or you may pay one red to give any goblin protection from white. Okay. Uh, crater Maker. Yeah, yeah, I know that one. That that blows up artifacts. artifacts. A colorless permanence. Oh, oh any colorless, colorless permanent. Yes. Okay. Um, so I could hit an Eldrazi with it. Colorless non. That's non-white. actually really cool. I cannot blow up um, Urza Saga though. Right. But I can't blow up Bolas' Citadel, which is really annoying. <laughs> Uh, two snoops. Okay, yep. Familiar with that one. Uh, torch courier. I don't remember that one. Okay, so it's a 1-1 with haste, and I can sacrifice just it to give another target creature haste. Right, okay, okay. <clears throat> I've got one skirt prospector. Okay, I know that one. And another recruiter. Okay. All right. I left my hand there, so I didn't mess with it. So I have my stack of cards. Yep. I will put them on top. And I will not swing. <laughs> so second main phase. Yep. Now I will pass turn. On your end step, I am going to go ahead and make a token. Okay. Um, I'm just going to use that as a token. Untap, upkeep. Draw. I, I will show you all my pile float a colorless time. next time. Okay. In response to the third chapter, I'm gonna go grab manifold key. Um, still colorless floating, play out Mistress Workshop. Okay. Play the Time Vault. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay. Uh, use the floating colorless to tap key down, tap Time Vault. Okay. And tap Time Vault, do the damn thing. All right, I would like to F9. You may play as fast as you want. I just want to see your win con. Okay, so um, I, I will concede if you if you just play whatever you wanted. Like, uh, do you mind if I just pick up the deck and find it and show you? Um, I'd like to see the cards between then and now. Okay, well, so okay, yeah, that that works. Um, all right, so so I have no responses. Um, cool, but I'd like to I'd like to see between now and then how you kill me. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so 
play land on next turn, do the and, damn thing. And if you want to keep like not discard, like you can swing too. Like I'll 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 take that as. Uh oh yeah I guess uh because w goblin recruiter is uh. No, I meant start swinging for three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, a goblin recruiter is, what, a 1-1? One, one? Yes, they're both 1-1s. One, but there's going to be at okay. least, even if you just discard the hand size for the rest of the game, I get to see three more cards. That's fair. So, play a Grim Monolith. Do the Time Vault thing. Attack for four. I'll block. Um... Untap, upkeep, draw. Ruby, do the monolith thing. Sure. Swing for five. I'll take five. Do the um, vault thing. I'm saying that more for myself so I don't miss that step. Okay, I was going to say, I am not going to... <laughs> Penalize the, the one ring is fine. Um, swing for six. I will take six. I will go to nine. Um, do the thing. I uh, swing for six. I will take six. Go to three. Um, and swing for six again. I'll block. Do the thing. Okay. And swing for six again. All right. I hope that wasn't annoying. <laughs> you no, know, I, like, I, I, I didn't think about, like, honestly, I almost just sped through, um, and, like, showed you... I did remind numbers. you about the construct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. So thank you for that, because I almost sped through and showed you a non-traditional win condition. So, at least that is still not revealed just yet. All right. So thank you for that. You're welcome. I, I wanted you to play through it, but I wanted to give you every advantage that you had at your disposal. I will take the play. Love to see someone holding down the port for good old goblins. Oh man, there's uh, I think there's six paper results on MTG Top Eight for paper events, and I've got all six of them. Nice. I'm gonna mull you. So I'm recording on YouTube as um, as part of my broadcast, and um, I sh 
I'm doing a little bit better this time of showing like the hands I mulligan, the cards I draw, and stuff like that. So if nice. um, interested in seeing how I'm playing against you, um, there might be some information afterwards. I and my will... deck list is up there. <laughs> huh? And my deck list is is posted on the same stream. Oh, nice. I may have to check it out. Um, if you'll uh, DM me a link to your uh, to your channel, I will go definitely go check it out. Thanks. Subscribe, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, all that good stuff. Excellent. But fair warning, I may forget to comment because I'm just not much of a commenter on things most of the time. But I I think I have four comments in my entire history of YouTube. Well, maybe I'll make that. Well, no, four is my favorite number. So if it's four, I'm not going to comment. If it's less or more than four, I'll comment. And you're at seven still? Yeah, this is my first hand. I'll keep. All right. Um, I'll put back one card. I'm going to go Mountain. Yep. Uh, Chrome Mox. Sure. I'm going to exile Shatter Skull Smashing. Sure. And I will attempt to play a Null Rod. Well, I kept a hand that was good against everything your deck is doing except Null Rod. So <laughs> no, my Crow Mox is is fucked now. Yeah, but so is my entire hand. <laughs> All right, we get a game three. I'll pass. Well, maybe. <laughs> uh, Ancient Tomb pass. Uh, Cavern of Souls naming Goblin. Sure. Conspicuous Snoop. Sure. Top card is a Lackey. Sure. I will pass turn. Um... Yeah. Thanks, Okay. 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 Not yet. Alright, nope. Black Lotus is top. I want to play a recruiter of the guard. I'm sorry, a goblin recruiter. Sure. Um, let me keep looking here and just in case I want some more cards. Right, that looks fine. Put these two to the side. Um, I don't believe, you don't get to see that top card because it's we're in the middle of an action. <clears throat> uh, two snoops, two recruiters, 
uh, Prospector uh, Muxus. I don't believe I showed you last time. Uh, I yeah, but I'm familiar with it. So uh, Crater Maker and Kikijiki. Sure. sure. I'm going to attempt to target Snoop with himself. Sure. I will make 100, 100 um, Snoops. But all, all but one of them is tapped, though, right? That is correct. Sure. Okay. I'll play Kiki. Or no, I'm sorry. I don't have the stack then. Uh, the last one, I'm going to attempt to target the... Um, Recruiter. Gotcha. Um, in response, I will pay two on Ancient Tomb and then four more to dismember um, the Recruiter. Okay. Um, I will pass my turn, at which point all the Snoop combo tokens will die. Yep. yep. All right. I'm going to go to 10 for four mana. Eight to leave one of that floating. I'm going to Phyrexian Metamorph Conspicuous Snoop. Okay. And then I'm going to go to four to dismember the Snoop. All right. Uh, revealing my next card. Sure. Um, go ahead. Goblin Mackey. Sure. I will pass. I'll play that workshop. Reveal the one ring. Yep. I will play a Snoop. Yep. Or reveal a recruiter. Sure. I will pass. Yeah, we'll get game three. Double dismember. You had stuff from me. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I am not feeling real great about our post board games, and I opened up to double dismember and a reasonable hand otherwise, and I'm like, oh, dope. And then you go turn one uh, null rod, and I'm like, oh, not dope. Yeah. Like I said, it was a good hand for everything you were doing except um, no rod, <laughs> except no rod, plan, no rod, baby. Even even into the into the chrome uh, chrome mocks. I mean, I was down from the mulligan. That took me another card down. So I basically lost three cards off my opening hand to no rod. But I mean, in this matchup, it's. More than worth it. I drew the recruiter, by the way. Oh, don't tell me that. <laughs> you'll, watch, you'll see it when you watch the video anyway. <laughs> I want you to be mad now than, instead of then. <laughs> All right. Sorry, it's going to take me a second. You're fine. Uh, I'm going to go get a drink in that case. All right. Uh, a beer? Uh, keg beer? Okay. 
A lone pipe? So this hand dies to like everything except for a hand that he wants to stop me on. So I got a lot of tricks to keep my shit to just grind out. But he goes for a quick win. I have nothing to interact with his his artifacts. So we got do we want to roll for another null rod? I feel like if we roll down for a null rod, he's going to have probably a force. He might even mold to a force just to keep that off the table. <clears throat> so I'm going to go with my slow ass turn three win on the draw with a little resiliency for endgame. Um, I hope he keeps a handful of like members and stuff. I don't know. I mean, they're going to hurt me anyway. I might as well get hurt in a way that... Alright. At least play some stuff out. I will play first. Sounds good. All right, yeah. And off. Oh, hey. Perfect seven. Um. Yeah, I'll keep this. All right. I will also keep. I'm going to lead on turn one workshop. Lotus. <laughs> oh, God. Make six mana. Covered jewel. Yep. Trigger draw three. Um, and pass turn from there. Mountain. Uh, Torch Courier. That's the uh, sacrifice it to give something else haste. Yeah, and it has haste too. Okay, yeah, that's fine. All right, I'll swing for one. Nineteen. I will take your coveted jewel. I forgot about that part. Um, I always forget about that part. Damn it! Pardon my language on your thing. That was not as horrible word. Um, I'm going to float three blue. All right. And... When I get it back, it does untap. Yeah. Okay, so do you want to use that blue during my combat phase? Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so before that three blue, that float uh, goes away after you get it. I'm going to sink into stupor uh, and return it to um, my hand. Okay. That, that's fine. Uh, you do draw the three cards. Okay. Uh, Chrome Mox. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to exile a Skirk Prospector. Sure. I'm going to Simeon Spirit Guide. I'm going to play a Snoop. 
Uh, Snoop will resolve. That was sweet. I will pass. I think next time if we go to the damage, though, <clears throat> I could have activated the mana in my in my um, combat phase. Not that it would have mattered. Uh, you could have, so... And does Stupor say um, permanent return, return control? Yep. And the opponent controls to its own. So you team. did have to give me the opportunity to have the three mana. Let me... All right, we're fine. But, we, can go, we can go ahead. Well, yeah, I mean, we're, we're not so far that, like, if you had something no, you could have done I, at I, instant speed. I'm fine. If, if Okay. I mean, I, I, I've got the, the triple bolts, but they're in the board. Uh, <laughs> Ancient Tomb, make three mana for a manifold key. Play a Mox Sapphire. Um, Pastron. Go, go, Raging Goblin. Oops. Um, I'll take three damage. Sure. Uh, I'll attempt to play a um, recruiter. Recruiter results. Like all singletons this time. Um, <clears throat> Lackey, Prospector, sure. sure. Torch Carrier, sure. Recruiter, sure. Muxus, sure. Crater Maker, sure. Kiki Jiggy, sure. And Snoop, sure. I'm gonna put these here while I look at my hand. I'm going to move my phone for a second to look something up.
Um, you let me know when you're ready, and I'll. Um, yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, uh, I'm gonna hold you kiki jiki. Yep. yep. I'm gonna make a um, hundred snoops. Sure. I'm gonna play a skirt prospector. I'm going to have to force a will pitching force of negation on that. I'm going to attempt to copy recruiter. It did so poorly. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah. That's fine. Um, I'm going to get mob mob on top. Do you want me to go ahead and do a whole stack or what's what mob mob do? do? Uh, sack a uh, creature deal three damage and I have a hundred snoops in play. No, that's fine. So go ahead and make the stack. No, 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 no you're good. Um, I can see. Ooh, did you have a, it sounded like you had a different line there that you were regretted. Um, if, if I had forced the, uh, the recruiter, the recruiter, um, would you have had access to null rod if I forced recruiter? No, I did not have null rod. Okay. So if you want to stop the recording or anything, that's fine. I, I want to play through my next turn as though I forced recruiter. Then we'll I have no problem with recording. You go ahead and play through your turn, man. All right, so I would have started off on five. Well, wait, wait, can we can we take just one step back? Sure. All right. If you had forced recruiter, yeah. um, I would have lackeyed in, given lackey haste. Yeah. Swung and this mob bog was in my deck, but I had one in my hand, so. Why this is important is you're going to take three damage. And then I have another three damage on the stack. So you just, you just have to, you have to win without going to three. Just to be accurate. Okay. Gotcha. Go gotcha. Yeah, okay. So. I, let's see. Had not tapped Ancient Tomb yet, so. I would go to 16. I believe five. you're at 14 when you start your turn. Uh, I would have been at 15. So I was at 18 after the force. No, I was at 17 after the force. You're right. I would have been at 14. Go to 12. 5, 6. Play a jewel. Okay. Draw three cards. Wow. You're kidding me, right? Wouldn't have mattered. Wouldn't have mattered. My next four draws were all lands. <laughs> no, well, were two, three lands and a sink into stupor. Well, I don't. I I had planned a turn three win instead of a turn two win, but your um, your coveted jewel gave me the extra um, mocks. That was okay. Like, I mean, and I just need like. <sighs> I would have bricked super hard no matter what. So, okay. Well, at least I don't have to live on what ifs because <laughs> I know I was losing that game no matter what. Dude, MV MVP right here, Mr. Raging Goblin himself. <laughs> yeah, you started with a gem and I'll have to cover the jewel and I was like, oh, well, that sounds like... <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a good one. Um... um 
and little did I know that sinking in sinking the super would have like my own coveted jewel would have given me the best chance at staying in that game, but it wouldn't have mattered because I drew land for the turn. Uh, I drew another ancient tomb, and then the draw of coveted jewel was factory tomb. Uh, not factory workshop, workshop tomb. Um, sink in the stupor, and I'm just like, what an abysmal set of draws. So, and I also still had a Manamo and an ancient tomb in my hand, or not a, a Manamo and a city of traders. So, like, I just flooded super hard there. My my opening hand was a very slow turn three win, and I said, I said to the camera, I was like, I just hope he's gonna try and play around Null Rod, and I can get some pizza in with some creatures. Which I mean, I, I have I have to try to play around Null Rod there. I, like, I know I put you on the spot, like that's that was my plan. Yeah, I, I mean, put I, I, I could beat the Null Rod there. I couldn't beat Null Rod or. Fast, uh, fast-ish. Uh, clock plus crap draws. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. It is what it is. Like, oh no, no, no! It's one of those. Like, I mean, does it stink? Sure, but you don't sign up for playing combo decks without the stomach to just have a fill rate. Sometimes yeah, well, it's just going to happen. I feel like I'm playing a combo deck myself. Like, I feel like I'm playing Doomsday with a beatdown option. Uh, that's actually a pretty good, fair assessment, I would say. Except for my piles are much bigger <laughs> and can be much more complicated. Because <laughs> I don't have Ancestral Recall to get through half of it. That's fair. <sighs> All right, my... Uh, oh. My next opponent has told me he's ready, so I will probably right. be on table... I don't know, I'll probably hop off this one, maybe table four or something. Uh, oh, he's maybe... Cody is his name? Um, no, right. Okay, um, so I'm going to sign off, and then I'm going to play an immediate round. If you still want to watch the magic, I'll be on. And then when I get my video rendered and uploaded, I'll send it to you. All right, awesome. I will either join you on the, that table, or I might go watch uh, Logan and Ed if cool. they'll if they're cool with it. Yeah. All right. Tell right. tell Ed, tell Ed I got you. <laughs> yeah. I, it, is his I, birth, it's his birthday today, right? Huh? I think it's Ed's birthday today. I uh, know it was last week. Hmm. Okay. So, all right. Well, have a good evening Later. and good games. Good games. Anyway, oh man, I got out of those ones somehow. The Code of Jewel mistake was, was very, very beneficial. Anyway, I've played another round. See y'all immediately after this.